The word for today, build your marriage for. Have you heard the joke about the lady who told her friend, I didn't know what real happiness was until I married my husband and now it's too late. Seriously, that doesn't have to be your story. Through God's wisdom, love and grace, you can rebuild your marriage. To do it, you will need to learn the art of openness and allow yourself to be vulnerable, transparent and ready to trust again. The only path to truly connect with someone is to genuinely allow that person to fully know you, your worries, struggles, lack of confidence, hopes and dreams. It's natural, especially after you've experienced hurt or rejection, to want to shield yourself from more pain. Doing this may make sense in some parts of your life, but in marriage, shutting down your soul to your spouse will result in further pain. Like property increasing in value over time, your marriage builds equity over the years. Like methodical investments into a savings account, modest deposits add up. Your shared experiences, such as the day when your child drove off to university, the company the two of you sacrificed and saved to start, the death of your parent after a lengthy battle with cancer, the birth of your children, or a surprise week-long trip to celebrate your birthday, it all counts. These experiences come together as a beautiful canvas of intimacy that portrays your lives together. They also bring God's blessing. He who finds a wife or husband finds a good thing and obtains favor from the Lord. Proverbs 18, 22. That is the word for today.